Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Tidwell Taste Tour. We thank you for joining us again on another episode. This episode, again, one of our, I guess for our show, unconventional, but we're trying to get, doing more things uh, here. This time around... We're here, we're queer, get used to it. Talk about that. Yeah. There's a lot of truth. There's a lot of queers here. So, what we've got this time, this is, uh, have a weird drink. It's the mint julep. Uh, mint julep is, and I will read it off again. I, I do know it off the top of my head. People, hey, you didn't even know. <laughs> yeah, what a queer. You know, people do that kind of yeah, stuff on sure. YouTube. So the ingredients are. <laughs> it was a little fun. Yeah. But uh, yeah, the ingredients are one teaspoon powdered sugar, two ounces bourbon whiskey, two teaspoons water, four mint leaves. Preparation in a highball glass, gently muddle. Stop it. <laughs> in a highball glass, gently muddle the mint, sugar, and water. Fill the glass with cracked ice, add bourbon, and stir well until the glass is well frosted. Garnish with mint spray. So I've got the ice, uh, I muddled the mint, the water, and the sugar there. Ice is in, and now what we do is add the bourbon, stir, and garnish with the mint if we choose. So, let's do it. We decided to use Maker's Mark bourbon. Maker's Mark's a pretty good bourbon. Um, I dig it. To do something like this, it, uh, this is 45% I've alcohol. done a review of just Maker's I don't think so. Oh, really? Yeah, I don't okay. think so. I'm going to have to do well, that. I, we... I don't know. We'll have to check for me. We've done all of them. That's true. Yeah, um, we decided to use... I, I, I had purchased this because I wanted something that was halfway decent to do this with. You knew it wouldn't yeah. ruin the... Got to put a little bit more because it calls for two ounces. So we'll probably... Like an ounce and a half, so maybe like that. And really, we probably could have gotten away with an ounce and a half. But... I'm not drinking a little more than you need to. Yeah, you know, that, that's my theory. Mm -hmm. And then, there's so well, hey, next step would be to stir. Obviously, this is way less than these glasses are. We just we have very small glasses, but stir this bad boy up. Wait, what else is in this? Uh, mint, sugar, and uh, that's it. And water. They add uh, yeah, water to muddle. This is basically it's a very bourbony drink. Okay. Okay. You want to garnish with mint or just drink? That's that's supposed to. To. Garnish with mint. So here's the mint. Here's the garnish. It's garnish. Whatever. Right. Here's. Uh, there's mint already. Yeah, there's yes. Mint in there. Yeah. Exactly. It's like whiskey. Is that all it tastes like? Yeah. Um. It kind of tastes like a whiskey. It kind of just tastes like whiskey. No, it's sweeter. It's definitely yeah. sweeter. It's like you put a little sugar in some whiskey. It's a little sugar and a little mint. A little That's what it tastes like. It's yeah. definitely sweeter than just whiskey. Mint whiskey. Yeah. Yep. I like it. It's good. Pretty good. I think it's fantastic. Granted, this, I like this kind of bourbon a lot. Right. Man, this can be our, our I, maker's mark. <laughs> yeah. No, I really think, well, we could. I mean, we could just pour it in here and do the review of it. I mean, we you want, yeah. You want to? I mean, yeah, let's do it. Why not? Everyone just take a swig. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, let's do that. That's fine. That's cool. So we'll do a Maker's Mark with the mint yeah. julep. Yeah. Let's do that. That's very the first one. Now we all have to take sips after Eric. That's damn good. I, I love it. Here, the other okay. Tidwell can go Do you want me to do my normal? No. I would rather go after him at least he gets the rest that of the That is tip damn tip. good whiskey. Oh yeah, so smooth. Oh. Mm. The beautiful bed. Now you get all the backwash. Yeah, I get all the Beautiful bed. No, I definitely, this is different. It's, it's, it's minty sweet. Alec bed. Mr. Bed. No, okay. <laughs> it's really good. Yeah, now drinking this after it's that, it's definitely sweet. It's like very sweet yes. and minty. So this is uh, Maker's Mark. Kentucky okay, Street. obviously way colder. Way colder. Yes. Right. But this is really good. I mean, so yeah, Maker's yeah. Mark, it's Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey, handmade, distilled, aged, and bottled by the Maker's Mark Distillery, uh, Star Hill Farm, Loretto, Kentucky, USA. It's 45% alcohol by volume. It says here, Maker's Mark is America's only handmade bourbon whiskey, never mass produced. We're proud of our unique and full-flavored bourbon, and so we add our Maker's Mark seal to each bottle. That's the Wasmans, I believe it was called, the, yeah. that something Fox Distillery, yeah. couldn't do, they had to mm -hmm. like do it in a different way, they had to do they the, do the, drip the wax, to, the wax yeah. cap, they had to do their own version of it, like they, they, they couldn't, have it. 
It was not. They couldn't dip it. Right. They yeah. couldn't dip it. They had to like right. roll it right. over. Yeah, right. they couldn't let it drip dry. They right. had to make because sure it's dry. Right. 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 They couldn't have it drip or something. Anyways, yeah, they had to make sure. No one dry else can do that. that. I honestly, so I don't drink high end bourbon. Bourbon. I don't drink high end bourbon all that often. Yeah. It is. This is good fucking whiskey. Oh sure. This is real. Oh sure. Forty five percent alcohol. This shit. Forty five percent alcohol. This shit is. This, it, it just gets you drunk. Uh, forty. This is forty five percent alcohol, man. That's a this lot. This is um one of the best. Yeah. Uh, kind of when I when I'm being fancy with my whiskey, which sounds stupid, I guess, with Maker's Mark. But that's when I'm being fancy with my whiskey. I go Maker's Mark. When you go from just that to this, you can definitely taste the mint in the sugar. Sure. Yeah. 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 I. Uh, like this tastes. Almost a little, not dull, but a little bit now compared to that. When you get that, it's so sharp and and um, just you know yeah, all that pure whiskey. Right. Yeah. And this is obviously because of the sugar and in the uh, ice. You taste much. it without straight whiskey. It just tastes like some whiskey with a little you know Water. mint and sugar stuff. But then you you contrast yeah. it and you can taste more of what's going yeah. on in there. So if, honestly, for me, if I was gonna I think it was a good idea to contrast yes. it that way. If I was just gonna drink the bourbon, um, if I was gonna rate the bourbon, I'm, I'm, so here, this is a good way to rate it, in fact, is because this is one of the classic cocktails that use bourbon, particularly bourbon, and then on top of it, we were rating the bourbon. It's great in the cocktail. In my opinion, I could drink this cocktail often. It's refreshing. It's nice. very, very, very good. Yeah. It's very whiskey forward, but it's very good. The whiskey itself, fantastic. Has a very nice, um, it's it's not for forty five percent alcohol. It's not Bernie. Mm -hmm. It's not. Um, it's just got a very nice, Real not overly oaky or anything like that. But a lot of bourbons aren't super smooth. This one's good. Man, I'd give that like a nine. Honestly, that's a great bourbon. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah. I uh, I bought shots, a round of shots of Makers after or summer last year in Dallas at this bar. Five shots. Forty five. Yeet. I was That's like, most things, right? I, I was well, like, this was ten, but I thought like, in, <laughs> so nine bucks. But I thought, yeah, I thought yeah. in Dallas, I was like, maybe it's a little cheaper, but no, no, no. We were at like this new club, and we oh. all got shots, and I was like, all right, oh, this is only two hundred million. Yeah, right. So ten bucks. it's in a store, two and a half bucks per shot. Right. Yeah. In in the store, yeah. Right. Obviously, it's cheaper to get the big bottle, whatever. But oh, sure. So, are you guys gonna give this rating? Or just say it's good. Oh, I mean, I'll give it an eight. And a half, um, probably. This this whiskey for a bourbon, it's, yeah. got, it's gotta be a nine, man. Yeah, I agree. It it's it's like we've talked about in, in recent episodes. To me, it sets the standard for good bourbon. I agree. That's true. It's That's really, true. really, really good. Yeah. It's kind of like the benchmark. Rating. Kind of the type of thing. Eight and a half. Okay. Two eight and a half and two nine. So this has been the mint julep cocktail, as stated. The uh, ingredients: very simple drink to make and a very good bourbon forward drink. If you get a good bourbon and you want something to make it a little sweeter, take the bite off. Honestly, I highly recommend something like this. If you like the taste of mint, yeah, it's really. If nice. you want to basically drink straight bourbon, but you want a little, something a little nice. something to make it not as bite. Yeah, that's really what this does. Calm these, down. these will get you drunk very quick oh, because yeah. they go down super, easy. super easy. So this has been the Maker's Mark and the Maker's Mark uh, Mint and Julep. Uh, this is Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey. It's from Loretto, Kentucky, California. Oh, California. Loretto, Kentucky, USA. 45% alcohol by volume. We will be back. It's two nines and two eight and a half. Thanks for joining us on the tour. And join us some more.